Welcome to another tutorial on the smoke program and its functions. For this video, we're going to discuss something that we've done in the past, which is how to schedule a course. But in this particular video, we're also going to show users how to fund a course using their county fireworks safety funds. So from our menu, as and I'm logged in as an instructor, again, let's go to course management, schedule training. As we've seen from previous videos, we're going to go ahead and select our area of expertise or where our county is going to be. We're going to use some of the information from our previous example, Norton Shores in Muskegon County. Save training. Let's go ahead and schedule a course. Again, we're going to schedule a driver's training program. The code is B05D, or you type in driver space training. There's our course. Let's find our instructor. Again, Mr. Purchase. And remember again, courses need to be scheduled at least six weeks out from the date that you submit. Let's start our class at 8 o'clock. We're going to have 15 students on a Saturday. Please remember to put in the actual time. The system will default to whatever the closest 15 minutes of your time is. And then we're going to save changes. Once you have that full course number like we discussed in a previous video, Go back and select options. You're going to see a dollar sign and funding. Please select that. Pop-up screen will appear in the middle of your box. The course funding limit is shown in the details up at the top part of the page. The maximum firework safety fees that can be applied to this program is $440. If you'll note, we currently have available funds of $500. Those available funds are tied to directly of whichever county you selected during your scheduling process. So let's go ahead and put in $440 and we're going to save. We do get a change in this particular screen. You'll note that the funding icon changed from an N to a Y. Once you've done that, again, you're, and you don't want to add additional courses, let's go back to training record, submit for approval. You may recall from the previous video that as the course manager, you automatically approve the course during the submission process. A change in a funded program is there is one additional approval step. The county training committee chairperson for that county is now in the loop, so to speak, of the approval pathway. It is their responsibility to approve funded courses within their county. So now you'll notice that we have a county training committee chair, Mr. Mark Cleveland, once he approves, we will get those same red and green boxes throughout the rest of the approval pathway. Again, we hope that you found this video informational. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your region coordinator.